Sup? What's up, buddy? Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Eric Johnston here. I am with a friend of mine, Chloe Hawkersmith, who's a, a, a model. And uh, many of you guys have probably seen some of her photos that we were posting online with Facebook and Instagram and so forth. And uh, the story of how we kind of met is that uh, I used to know her parents back uh, in about 20 to 22 years ago when we were that's work, so working. Hey, that, that's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're old. Uh, <laughs> back then we were, we're working at a different airport and we've reconnected working at the, the airport now mm -hmm. in uh, McKinney, Texas. And with you being a model now, uh, normally you're pretty busy. But everything kind of started shutting down with the COVID. COVID the yeah, COVID. I haven't yeah. shot in so long because of COVID. Because really? they don't want all the makeup people and the photographers and stuff all coming together. So no one's working, which it's really bad because the photographers and models don't have like anything to do now <laughs> because of the COVID. It sucks. <laughs> but yeah. So everything, everything just kind of stopped. Yeah, you everything know? just stopped. I didn't have any jobs or anything, so I was just sitting at home, which is really sad. And with everybody out there, all you guys can probably um, relate to this. Uh, everyone's kind of wanting to do something. Uh, everyone's looking for something to go out yeah. and do. And Laura started talking about it. She goes, "Well, if you want to shoot Chloe, you know, because you know, being a photographer, and I was like, yeah, that would be really nice. We're actually working with a model." Mm -hmm. That would be make it easier on me, and I could be like, Yes, get in front of the camera. <laughs> so, it, so it was mutually beneficial uh -huh. for each of us. And my son Brett is getting into photography, so we brought him in there uh, on board as well. And uh, the your agency wanted what quarantine shots? Yes, they wanted some stay at home shots to just see us like lounging around on the couch, or and then people would reach out and want to work with us, where we would take our own pictures at home and work with brands from home. So everything was becoming like over online. Like FaceTime shoots were a big thing. I've been doing shoots really? over FaceTime. Yeah, that's a huge thing now. I've done like four shoots okay. over FaceTime. Yeah, and they turn out actually really cool. So they've been finding ways to do it like over FaceTime or just like at home. And then you send, you email the pictures from home to different brands and they say, oh, I want to work with this person. So they send you clothes and they're like, wear this, take pictures in this and we'll put you on our website. So that's what they've been doing a lot. I never did. That's so cool. Yeah, it's really cool. But um, that's, yeah. So I wanted to take like stay at home shots and send them into my agency just so they could send them out and see if brands would be like, oh yeah, we want to work with her at home. So. Which we did. We came yes. over. Brett and I came over. We did some stay at home shots, uh, which were we were very happy with how this turned mm -hmm. out. And we thought, it would, you know, working with you was so fun that we thought maybe let's explore some horizons here as far as what kind of different shoots. So um, I called my buddy Steve Covington, who's an air show performer based over in Gilmer, Texas. And I called him and I go, hey, would you, I got this idea of uh, having Chloe put, put you in a flight suit or, you know, some kind of attire standing on the runway and having him do some uh, knife edge passes by you. Which no model does that for stay at home <laughs> shots. <laughs> That's quite different. So, stay at home shots we go to an airport for. for you know? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but when I called Steve, uh, he was like, and I go, hey, would you be willing? He goes, yes, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's get together. I'm dying to do anything because all the air show guys are staying home. Yeah, I bet yeah, everyone's dying every, to do something. Every, every, everyone's going crazy. Yeah. So. It, it worked out really well because Steven has got his own aerobatic box out there, which means that we can basically shut down his airport and be totally legal about it. Okay, and we did a safety briefing, and then uh, what was, I don't know if you remember one of the things that we told you that we were adamant about is that you cannot move. Yeah, stay still. Yes. Yes. So that made me feel better though, because y'all told me what was going on, and I was like, oh my gosh, I've never been near a moving plane, but <laughs> y'all made me feel really safe with all the precautions and stuff. So yeah, tell me to stay still. So I stayed still. Well, that was the biggest thing because uh, safety is always first on on any shoot, especially when you're talking about you know aircraft and mm -hmm. aviation and so forth. So uh, we told her don't move, and I go because Stephen, when he he's coming down, we had you stand what's called midfield, which is right midway, middle mm -hmm. middle part of the runway. Steve would come down, he would establish his pass, and then he would adjust it going down the runway. And then he told me, he goes, he goes, when I pass, let me know if you want me, uh, you know, however feet you want me this direction or that. And as usual, in Steve Covington fashion, he nailed it on the first try. So I said, just keep on doing that and I'll reposition myself. That way I figured that kind of would make it easier. And my daughter was filming on the first pass when he came in. And the wash and the the, the 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 wake of the airplane, 
took my, your hair my straight hair, out. And I like, was pushed forward. <laughs> it was so cool though. The whole time I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Were, were you scared at all? Or I, at first, I was really? scared. At first, I was a little nervous because, like, it's so different. I've never done anything like that. But, like, the first time, I was like, oh, that wasn't that bad. That was just super cool. Mm -hmm. Super cool. And I, I loved how I was pushed forward. And I was like, let's do it 500 more times. It's fun. <laughs> Which I think we did. I don't know how many passes we did. Or, we did or, a lot. Yeah, it was probably nine or ten. Yeah, and it was like so that. fun. It was so cool. And then we did, Steven, he was, uh, Steven builds uh, hot rods for a living as well, so uh, he, he, uh, he's got access to some really nice cars, so he brought out his Ferrari. And that then, was cool. All of it was so cool. I was it, like, yeah, I'll take that car. That's my new car. <laughs> <laughs> you can give that to me for free. <laughs> so for home, home quarantine shots, we also went out and did <laughs> knife head smashes with the pit special on the runway and the Ferrari outside. The bougie way. The, yes. <laughs> <laughs> the bougie version of doing things. <laughs> well, this video is a behind the scenes look of the shoot. Okay, so it's kind of raw put together and uh, just have fun with it. But thanks for tuning in. We hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you. And that's the awkward slash way. Thank mm -hmm. you.